In front of us, we have a beautiful 1969 Mustang convertible 351 four-speed car. Um, we're doing this with uh, hands-on outreach, and uh, I don't know if Rick talk about the hands-on outreach part, I'll talk about the project. Um, basically, what, ha what we have here is we had a car that was donated to us, and the car was rusty and rotten the all com beyond all compare. There was not really a salvageable panel on it. Uh, except for a few key components. Um, so what we have done, uh, we have done a uh, order down in the States and we have ordered almost the complete car. Now, if you were here last week, uh, we actually uh, did all our Christmas gifts, right guys? And we unpacked everything and we kind of set it up and we have mostly a car sitting right here right now. Um, the wooden contraption that you see, yes Tom, tier one, I like that. Um, what we've done is we've taken the factory frame specs for a 69 Mustang and we've made a wooden jig. We're going to mimic how this car as best we can, how it would be built at the factory. So all of these pieces of wood that are sitting up in the air are actually the mounting jig points. We've hung the gauges from them, made sure that it was all nice and straight. And we are going to start with the kids from Hands On Outreach and uh, hopefully a lot of volunteers. We're going to build this car from the ground up. So uh, right now, with, with this one here, you can see that we're starting to uh, get the floors put in. And we're trying to do it so that the kids do almost all the work uh, under the uh, guidance and tutelage of uh, some volunteers. And the nice thing is uh, we should be able to squeeze type resistance, small weld this car all together. So it's going to be mimicked almost to factory as close as possible. It'll be a restoration above restorations. Uh, so we're very excited about it. We meet here every uh, Thursday from 6 to 8 and uh, we are slowly hammering away at this car and we're going to hopefully put it all together. So, you want to talk about Hands On? Yeah. Hands On has been running for 28 years now in the city. We don't think any government funding or whatnot. We rely solely on people such as yourself to come down to the track and get some of the magic happen. The last car we built was amazing. We worked out uh, 86 children worked on it over the course of two and a half years. And then when we sold it, they put it up for a week, whatever summer camps they wanted, they didn't help build it. And then the rest we built a roof and did the whole thing on our building. Uh, the, the differences it makes with some of our young gentlemen and some of the other ladies and gentlemen that get to work on it is like a change. We have uh, a couple of girls that are in grade 10, 11 that want to bit have special needs. So scared of me is what she's been through. Just watch the magic work with some of the guys who walk through and some of these other guys that are just nice people. Magic is happening. I think we poured water and watch the flower and kill more people than what these kids are. As soon as we just poured some love into them. It's absolutely amazing. So it's, what we wanted to do is come up with a project and make it up fun and private, but they also have to stay in school, get good works, and have to behave in order to be part of the project. We just work the magic. We have the five different school kids already signed up that just want to come. We were supposed to bring them six last week, we bought them eight kids. We packed the place up pretty big, but they all try to stand the same piece. But it's a lot of fun to watch them work together and see that bonding and see how some of them, now we're in grade 12, are actually looking at coming here to fall flying so they can get involved more. Most of the deals that we do work with are families that um, are in the inner city and we're trying to figure out ways how can we get the best for them in the future. A lot of that's working with the group and learning how to understand, take instructions, work as a team, and be very careful and learn how to do a bit of a trade. So we're so grateful for everybody that's allowed us to be doing this, like and that, and the youth, that's, that's magical. But that's what we're hands on what I do. We will end up with a beautiful car. We will sell it again. We've already had a huge offer on it when it's already done. I think we can double that and put it up in auction. So what we're going to do is to continue trying to build carts and building these children's lives, and that's the best part of it. Jason and Jason, we have a couple of young men that are new to this car project, and they just don't want to miss. It's hard to, you have to run fast to get the hands on these two to get to the car project on Thursday night. We have so many people showing up, and we're just proud of them as much they tried so hard. So what's happening is life changing, and we want to continue that. If any of you would like to come in anywhere on a Thursday night to help, we have more kids than we have uh, helpers, and it's just a matter of pouring into the life. Even told people you don't have to have any talent to work on the car, but part of it, what you need to do is have a big heart. That's what these kids need to So that's what we're doing, and that's what we're so grateful for the project. And we sure appreciate all of the help that we possibly get. It does change lives. Thank you. Uh, awesome. One thing that I wanted to mention that uh, on the last car we did, some of you remember, it was uh, Chevy Nova that we did, and we actually raffled it off. And, uh, actually, we can get money back to the hands-on outreach. 
But interestingly enough, one of the guys that I thought he might be here today, uh, a young boy by the name of Arizona, when he first started, he was about Jason's size and age. You know, Scott. And now the Scott size. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think he worked for you. He now has a job with me. So the, the cool thing is, is that we've seen evidence of the kids coming into the program. And uh, if we don't get them at this age, you know, somebody else is going to get them and it might be trouble. So we want to make sure that they end up in a hard money trade because it's part of what, what this whole project is about. And we've got some interest in it too. So it's just a great project. I'm really excited about what uh, SAS Polytech has done. Um, and of course, this frame machine will be up for auction as well afterwards, right? Yeah, yeah of course. <laughs> anyway, if you guys got time on Thursday nights, come on out and check it out. I think you'll enjoy yourself. Thank you very much. Thank you.